I know you guys love to watch haul videos, so I've got one here for you. Recently I was at Barney's and I just decided to pick up a bunch of fragrances and some candles and maybe some skincare that I was needing. Two bags worth. Big, massive Barney's haul. Coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos here and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And yes, I shop at our Barney's San Francisco here in downtown San Francisco at Union Square. And I know everyone there pretty much well and uh, one a sales associate there that I usually go to, Christina, I was mentioning they have a promotion, a gift card promotion, which I had never heard of Barney's having one. I always knew of them at um, places like Saks or Neiman Marcus, maybe even Bloomingdale's, but never from Barney's. And she said you spend a certain amount of money and you get a gift card. And I think it was a $250 spend and you get a $50 gift card, or I can't remember. I, I don't remember. So I went in and I thought, okay, I'm gonna go crazy here. Cause see, like I needed a lot of stuff and there was some stuff that had just launched that I needed to pick up a bottle of and I, I didn't have and I was running out of some fragrances so I decided to go crazy but I unfortunately when I brought it back I didn't realize I was gonna shoot a haul video and I thought to myself after opening up some stuff and throwing away even some of the packaging that wow I better put together a, a haul video because a lot of you love to watch these and I actually love to watch them as well so here it goes so some of the stuff that I'm gonna present to you I've actually shot videos for that I haven't aired uh, some actually, some of the packaging I threw away because I usually do not keep some packaging. But the first item I want to talk to you about that you'll see a first impressions video of very soon is for another 13. So this is uh, Le Labo's Another 13 and Le Labo's Another 13 was an exclusive fragrance for Colette Paris Boutique and Colette closed last fall, late fall or maybe early winter. Uh, it's a store that I, I've gone to, but every time I'd go there, it was packed to the max. It's like a hip, uh, hipster kind of a boutique. It's been around for 20 years, and I think they closed down on their 20th anniversary. So Le Labo sold fragrances there, and another 13 was the exclusive one. And this is the kind of fragrance that's similar to things like Molecule One and things like that. So if you like that, uh, you'll see a first impressions video of this one. But um, the fragrance is this right here. So this is another 13. I've been wanting this fragrance for a while and I mentioned in the video that I was in Paris in January of 2017 and I was ready to buy this but they were all out. They said come back in two weeks and I'm like I'm not here I'm not here for two weeks so there you go. Now I have a bottle another 13 from Le Labo and the folks at Barney's San Francisco are very nice. There's a, a big Le Labo department there and They'll put together your fragrances as you like, and there's lots of great fragrances from Le Labo. It's a brand I really, really enjoy. So that's another 13. So I wanted to pick up a new bottle of Frederick Malls Musk Ravageur because I was all out. So, Musk Ravageur. Now, if you don't know Musk Ravageur, this is probably one of the best musks out there, according to some people, maybe not according to others. But I really like this musk because of how it has some slight bit gourmandy, like a, a yummy kind of notes in it. So this one's a very unique uh, creation created by Maurice Roussel. And there's a slight bit of a uh, caramelly chocolatiness with this musk. And that's why I say it's kind of sort of uh, a bordering gourmand, but it's not quite. Um, it's very, very good. Um, although I'm not sure it's as good as the original formulation pre uh, Frederick uh, Mall being uh, acquired by uh, Estee Lauder, but I think it's still pretty darn good. But if you like musk fragrances, and I love musks, this is one of the best musks out there. So it's Frederick Malle's Musk Ravageur. Um, so yeah, I had to get that one because uh, I love it. I love wearing it, and lately I've just been really into wearing lots of musks. Not sure what's causing that. I've been into a lot of fresher fragrances and musks, and this is one that will definitely be put to use. So I don't talk much about candles, and this is one I actually opened up and threw away the packaging for, and this is from the house of Frederick Mall. And even though I don't talk about candles much here, this is from Frederick Mall. It's Russian Nights, this one right here. 
Now I really wanted this one and finally I have it and I love the Frederick Mall candles. They smell great, they burn really lovely. And if you like the brand Frederick Mall, you'll love their candles. So if you haven't tried it, definitely check it out. So unfortunately this one, like I said, I threw away all the packaging for. But Russian Night smells really beautiful, smoky. Uh, almost smoke, well it's definitely smoky. It smells resinous, smoky, and slight bit vanillic or sweet undertone there too. So the first thing you smell here is the, the smokiness, then you can pick up the, the sweetness. So it's beautiful, Russian Nights from Frederick Mall. All right, more fragrances that I bought from uh, Barney's San Francisco. And again, if you ever visit San Francisco and you love perfume shopping, it's probably one of the best destinations downtown for perfumes and they have lots of variety of brands there. Of course, Frederick Mall, Le Labo, they got Byredo, they got Diptyque, they have uh, uh, Fong Dang, they have uh, Tiziana Terenzi, uh, they have uh, Eccentric Molecules, you name it, they have it there. So one brand that they also carry there is called Maison Martin Margiela, or just Maison Margiela. And there's a fragrance that they had launched late last year called Wicked Love, this one right here. And I absolutely wanted this one because I love the way this smells. So this is part of the more expensive collection from uh, Maison Margiela. And this is, as you can see the picture, it's called Wicked Love. It's kind of like, almost like going hippie direction. And speaking of hippies, we've got another fragrance coming up. But uh, this is all about rose. And this rose is a very, very green rose. And this is my first uh, black bottle, uh, the more expensive uh, collection of Maison Margiela fragrances. And this one's truly a delicious rose. Now if I had this one before I did my top 20 rose fragrances video, I would have included this one on there. But it's truly beautiful. L really, really. A green, jammy rose. So that's Wicked Love from Maison Margiela. So another one that I picked up from Maison Margiela is called Soul of the Forest. This one I actually was opening up, then I decided, this is when I decided I'm like not going to open this up and I'm going to do uh, first impressions and do a haul video. So this is Soul of the Forest. So this is the second uh, black bottle fragrance that I picked up from Maison Margiela. And this is a very green fragrance. Uh, again, uh, this would go on a green fragrance video, but it's very pungent and green. And sometimes you, I like those green pungent smells. So this is Soul of the Forest from Maison Margiela. Do you know this brand, guys? Have you tried them? Uh, check out my top five Maison Margiela fragrances video. Uh, you'll learn a little bit about uh, By the Fireplace, At the Barber's, Jazz Club, Tea Escape, and Lipstick On. So another one that I actually opened up and I realized I was gonna do the haul video was Tea Escape from Maison Margiela. This one is in the other bag. Um, so this is a wonderful tea fragrance. Um, if you like tea, nutty, green tea, this is the one for you. It's very cozy and comfy. Uh, inspired by Asia, this particular fragrance is inspired by Japan or Tokyo, I think. Um, so this is that inspiration. All these Maison Margiela fragrances are inspired by different settings. And music festival is, of course, inspired by Woodstock, I think, uh, in New York or State, New York State. With Soul of the Forest and Wicked Love, I'm not quite sure what those are inspired, but those are the darker bottles and I do need to do a little more research since these are my very first two dark bottle fragrances I should know. But, but all the white bottles or the clear bottles are inspired by different settings. Um, so Jazz Club is of course inspired by a jazz club in New York State and so on. So this one is somewhere in Tokyo. Tea Escape, really, really beautiful. If you like tea fragrances, you've got to check this one out. So Tea Escape by Maison Margiela. And last but not least from Maison Margiela, Music Festival. So I wanted this one because it's green and it's got like a cannabis note and it's got patchouli. It's very dry, it's very herbal. And so I like that kind of fragrance and I love the way cannabis smells. It kind of comes off kind of um, minty, a little camphoric, and uh, I love the name too, Music Festival. So uh, if you like cannabis or minty or herbal kind of fragrances with patchouli, this is the one for you to try. I'm gonna spray that one on. Oh yes. The patchouli is just gorgeous. Mmm. See, it starts up very patchouli-like, but then the, the, the cannabis note kind of appears afterwards. At least that's what's happening here. So that is Music Festival from Maison Margiela. 
For patchouli lovers, that might be one for you. And this would definitely go on the patchouli fragrances video. Unfortunately, at that time, this was not available. Speaking of patchouli, we had to have this one because this one I absolutely loved when I first wore a test uh, from the tester in the store. This is called Tempo from Diptyque. So, wow, this is a truly awesome release from this house. They have created two fragrances. Diptyque has created two fragrances. Fleur de Peau and Tempo. And Tempo, uh, they're going back to their roots. Like they launched 40 years ago, I think, uh, and not, or 50 years ago, I can't even remember now. But this is kind of like their anniversary fragrances. And Tempo is a, a patchouli fragrance and it's one of a kind. Um, I sprayed Tempo on and I uh, wore it in the movie. Um, and on me, it smelled so good. And I kept smelling myself and the dry down was pretty darn phenomenal. Um, really, really beautiful. So there's Tempo and uh, I had to have it. Now Fleur de Peau is a ambrette dominant fragrance. This one is uh, more patchouli. And Fleur de Peau kind of reminds me a little bit of Chanel number no. 18 because of the ambrette notes. So I don't know if I'll pick that one up, but definitely this one was one that I really wanted. So this is Tempo from Diptyque. Check it out if you like patchouli because I recommend this one a lot. So when you spend a certain amount of money there, you got these little gift bags. So I got one. It's filled with a bunch of different things from Barney's. So if you're ever at Barney's and you have these promotions, they're just chock full of goodies. So that was also given to me as a gift. All right, so next up, we're going back to Diptyque and this is Vetiverio the EDP concentration. So I really love vetivers and that's why I had to pick up Vetiverio EDP. Now I, I love the original, but I just didn't own it because I didn't think it had anything. I mean, I, I just felt like it was a little light for a vetiver. When you've experienced so much vetivers, um, that one came off a little too light for me. But here in Vetiverio EDP, I really love the way it's more concentrated, it's more strong, it's more beefier and everything is just amplified and made beefed up. So it's not a wimp anymore, if that's what I should say. So if you like your uh, extra potent fragrances, something a lot more longer lasting and a little uh, more unique touch to the original Vetiverio from Diptyque, Vetiverio EDP is the one. I mean, I really, really think it's a great vetiver. Let me spray some on. Yes, wonderful, a bit creamy, but you can tell that there's vetiver, a big dose of vetiver in there, and uh, just the original is not there. It's just, this is the, the new vetiver, and once you get a whiff of this, uh, you might go for this. But you know what, some people like the original. I, I just didn't care for it that much. It just felt really wimpy. Now here is the, the beefy one right here, Vetiverio EDP. So this one I think I think came out late last year, or maybe like in the fall, I can't quite remember. But uh, Tempo came out this year, like Tempo and Fleur de, Fleur de Peau came out this year, like just the last couple of weeks, maybe the month, if, if that. But Vetiverio has been around since the fall of 2017. But I put it off for a while, and I usually, when I'm buying fragrances, I usually like wait for promotions, and this was a promotion. And uh, so I take advantage of those kind of situations so that I get the most amount of things or deals for the fragrances I'm buying, if that makes sense. So if you like Vetiver, this one's definitely one to check out. This is Vetiverio EDP from Dipti. Hopefully soon they'll go on a Vetiver fragrances list. I'm due to make one soon. Uh, and so I will put that one on there. So Vetiverio EDP from Dipti. Check it out. So I've been wanting to pick up the latest Feng Dang fragrance and I finally did. And that is Artist in here. So Artist comes like that. And Artist is created by Bertrand du Chaffour who created most of the Feng Dang fragrances. Uh, and this one is created by Bertrand du Chaffour, as I said, with Mark Buxton, who I'm a big fan of both perfumers. So Feng Dang fragrances are quite pricey. Yes, there's some um, um, a little controversy out there on in the fragrance community um, and they also have been mentioned that they're synthetic smelling. I'm personally, I, synthetic fragrances, it doesn't bother me. 
Uh, I personally prefer a mixture of both synthetic, synthetic and natural, and these do not smell 100% synthetic to me. They do smell some natural, some synthetic, and uh, which is kind of referred to as mixed media. And I like the way natural perfumes smell, but I think natural perfumes do not last too long. So you have to have a little synthetic touch to the fragrances in order for them to last. Otherwise, um, I've tried a lot of all natural perfumes here in the Bay Area, San Francisco, where they, I have access to a lot of them and they just do not last. So I prefer my fragrances to be both natural and synthetic. And these do not smell synthetic, they're beautiful and I love artists. It smells really wonderful, you've got to check it out and spray some on. Um, and they are pricey, yes they are definitely pricey, but really gorgeous, really really gorgeous. So check out Artist from Feng Dang. Lovely, lovely fragrance. So when I was in the Le Labo department at uh, Barney's, I was given some samples of their laundry detergent. Now, did you know they had laundry detergent? So they have Santal 33, I got a couple of those, which I do not own this fragrance yet. So for some reason, this one kind of rubs me the wrong way, this fragrance, Santal 33. It's a sandalwood, but it has a weirdness to it, which I haven't really um, embraced yet. But the other sam samples, uh, samples of laundry detergent they gave me was Rose 31, which I absolutely love. You know that, I've featured it on videos in my top 20 rose fragrances video. This is really, really awesome. I love this. And these actually are perfect for carrying around when you're traveling. You need to do a little laundry. And like, uh, when I go to Europe, I don't have access to laundry uh, mats. So you can take these along and do some laundry in your um, hotel room. So these are gonna be perfect for that. So I also had to pick up a candle from uh, Barney's, from Fong Dang, because I really love candles and I love lighting candles and having uh, the space that you are sitting in or in the house or whatever, smelling like specific scents, especially when you're not wearing fragrances in the house. And this is Limerence right here from Fong Dang. Really, really love these candles. Absolutely love them. They're gorgeous, they're beautiful. And I'll show you what they look like. I love how black they are, dark they are, and the way the, the red in the bottom. This one's just a gorgeous smell. I had to select the, the, the specific scent I wanted, and this one smells really, really gorgeous and sexy. Kind of like a Tom Ford um, noirish kind of a scent. But definitely not that, of course. But yeah, here's what, what happens with the candle. The name is on top. And I guess that's not how you do it, but like that. So that is Limerence from Fong Dang. Of course, I got a ton of different samples. Um, these are skincare. Like I said, skincare potentially in this video, but I, did, I didn't pick up any skincare items. But I did get a lot of samples. Um, so we'll have to put these to use with the, all the stuff that's in here. There's way too much stuff in here. Look at that. There's more that goes in there. Last but not least, I got a couple of samples of Lipstick Rose and Lipstick Rose. That is from Frederick Mall, of course. I'm trying to do, uh, I'm trying to actually figure out if there's any other rose fragrances from Frederick Mall I like. I do love Hoon Rose from Frederick Mall as well, which might be in my future. But the other thing that I received as a little gift for buying the uh, Feng Dang fragrance is a little bottle of untamed food. Came, comes in a little pouch like this. So that was a gift with purchase. Anyway, that's it guys. What do you think of this haul? Did I buy way too much? Do you like any of these fragrances that I bought? Do you wish you had some of these? Do you want some of these? And have you tried some of these fragrances or do you own them? Let me know, let's get a conversation started. Also let me know, did I buy just way too much? Am I buying way too many fragrances? I'm a collector, obviously you can tell, but this was one that I needed to pick up because I wanted these fragrances. Um, I wanted the Maison Margiela ones, I really, really love those. One of the uh, um, Diptyque ones, of course, really love them. And of course, another 13, I had to have it because I was gonna buy it in January of 2017, I was not able to. And Musk Ravager, yes, I needed that because I ran out. And of course, the new Feng Dang I really, really wanted. But anyway, guys, let me know. Uh, chime in. Let's get a conversation started. And also in the future, I think I'll be doing more haul videos. I think everybody seems to love them. And uh, well, if I do any kind of a big haul like this again, I'll make sure to do a video about it because 
um, everybody loves to watch haul videos. Alright guys, if you have any questions or comments, please put down below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. And also, I mentioned at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Goodbye.